Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this book tracker notion template that I created. Now I did take some inspiration from the template that Plant Based Bride created. So I'll leave her video in the description box so that you can watch hers as well. And she goes into so much detail in her video. Now I don't have a lot of books on here just yet because I am planning on using it this year so that I can keep track of all my reading because I have not been very good at that in the past years and I'll just read a book and then just forget about it and not do any sort of tracking. And so this year I want to set myself a challenge. I want to keep track of what books I read, what I thought about them, the reviews, the pages, the reading logs, the quotes, <laughs> just everything. And so I'm very excited to start using this template. So I did include some examples just so that you can see how the template works. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the dashboard. So I did include um, images and icons and try to make it so that it's uh, visually appealing to me so that it'll keep me motivated to come back to my book tracker and add to it and keep me reading. Right here at the top, I just have a quote that I plan on changing from time to time. Over here to the side, we have the navigation section and I will go into more detail about each section, but I just wanna go through the dashboard first. Um, I also have this reading log where I can start and stop a reading and it'll reflect for how long I have read that day. So this card gets added automatically every single day so that you can keep track of your reading every single day. <laughs> Okay, and then over here we have my currently reading section. I do tend to read more than one book at a time. I usually read two to three books and so I decided to have the card a little bit bigger so that I can see them better. But in this view you'll be able to see the author, what page you're on, your progress, and then the genre as well. Now if I open up one of the books there are some properties that you need to fill out so that everything gets sorted and organized accordingly. So I did include a cover photo um, for my book, but you have, you know, the basics. You have the author, the genre, the status, the format. You have your start and your end date, the month and the year, your current page, the total pages, and then this is how it calculates your progress. You also have the five star rating system where you can select the rating once you're done with the book. And then you can also mark it as part of a series. So here you would just, um, I have the Harry Potter series as an example, but here you can link it to any other series that you might be reading. And there's a different section for that, which I'll go over. And then in every book, you have a quotes section. So if you're reading, you can just include the quote directly on here. And for example, if I add another quote, the book is going to get linked automatically and then you just include the page number and here you can check off if it's a favorite quote and then over here if we click on view details i have a section where you can just add notes or thoughts um, as you're reading the book or when you finish it i just wanted to add a little section for that as well now i also have it filtered to only show the books that i'm reading this year so if i go to filter you can change the year here or you can remove the filter altogether if you would like and then of course i also have the red section which again is going to have that filter for this year and in this view you again you can see the author and then you'll be able to see this label that says finished and then the date that it was finished so this is going to appear once you enter an end date right there and then you'll be able to see how many stars you gave it and then the genre as well and then i have a to be read section that's just going to show you the author and the genre there's a did not finish section and a wish list now off to the side, I have my challenge for the year. And so here I'm going to be able to see for how long I have read throughout the years. So as I log more readings, then I'll be able to see this time increase right here. Right now, I only have the one minute for today. But again, as I include more, then it's going to reflect that. And it will say it in hours. Um, it's not going to just be minutes. And then it's also going to show me how many books I have read out of my total goal and the progress as well. So I have set myself a challenge of reading 24 books this year. Now I know it's not that many for some people, but I have not been keeping track of reading in a while. And so I felt like this was a good start for me. So here at the bottom, we have my favorite quotes section. So as you're adding the quotes and marking them as your favorite, you'll be able to see them 
pop up in here. And then as I scroll down, I have the five star reads. So all of the books that you mark as five stars are going to start showing up in here. And right now it has a filter to show your five star reads for the current year. And then we have the genre section. So it's just going to show you the books belonging to that genre, just in case you want to find them. A little bit easier or organize it that way it'll be there and then further down we have a month to month breakdown where you'll be able to see how many pages you have read that month how many books out of your monthly goal you have read if you do set monthly goals so here it tells me that i have read one out of uh, the two books that i set myself as a challenge and it also shows you the progress and then you'll be able to see that month by month and then on this side we have the series section i just included this one as an example was the first one that came to mind and so here you'll be able to see how many books you have read out of however many books are in that series okay now if we go back up to the top then i'll go through the different sections that i have on here so with the bookshelf you're just gonna see the bookshelf database in here and you'll be able to see everything uh, related to that book uh, so like the month the year everything mostly everything that you see when you open it up in this view. Right now I have it sorted by author, but you can sort it however you would like right here in the sort section. I just like to have my books together depending on the author. And in this section, I didn't include any filters for the year so that I can have everything. If we go to the author section here, you'll be able to see all of the authors that you're adding in your bookshelf. And so if I open one of these pages, you can include the nationality. And then it's also going to automatically calculate how many books from this author you have as you add them to your bookshelf and then you can just include a short author bio on here if we go to view details you can see what books you have from this author and then here in the main view you'll just be able to see their nationality and then however many books you have for that author and then we have the series sections and so here you'll be able to see the same thing however many books you have read out of the total books in the series and your progress now if we open it up the only thing that you have to change is the total books in the series so you just have to change that number right here and then the progress and this little message is going to get added automatically as well as however many books you have read because you enter them as a regular book and so once you mark them off as completed or read then it's going to reflect that number right here and then you'll be able to see the books that are related to this series as well and then just to add a new series you would just add a new page label it with your new series and as you're entering the books in your bookshelf then you can relate them to to the new series here and then we have the genre section just again a place to organize them by genre if you want to look them up that way or see however many books you have read and within each genre we also have the quote sections so here you'll be able to see all of the different quotes that you're including as you're reading what book it belongs to the page number and mark them as a favorite or not um you can add quotes directly from this page Page, I think it's easier to write it directly from the book itself and that way the book gets related automatically. And then I also have a section for all of the favorites so you'll be able to see all of your favorite quotes in one place. Okay and then we have the reading log and so here you'll have a weekly view of your reading log so you can see how long you read for that week um, and then you just have a monthly view where you'll be able to see just for how long you read that day. And again in the dashboard you'll be able to see your overall reading time so right now it's just reflecting that one minute but as you start including more reading logs then you'll just see that number increase. And then lastly we have the stats so you have a year by year recap and so for each year you'll be able to see how many books out of your total goal you read that year um, however many pages you read for how long you read and then you'll be able to choose a favorite book of the year these first three are going to get calculated automatically it's just this last one that you just have to include whatever book was your favorite for that year and it's the same for 2026 2027 and you can simply add more years as time goes by so this would be 2028 and then here at the bottom this is where i set my yearly goal and so here you can change your book goal for that year so right now i have it set at 24 but if i were to change it to i don't know like 30 or something then everything else would change and reflect that so this now change to you have read one out of 30 books this year and so here in the filter you would just change 
the year. And then here we have the month by month breakdown. So this is if you want to also include monthly goals. So I have a goal of reading two books for each month and it's going to tell you the progress. It's the same info as in the dashboard, but here's where you would set your actual goal. Let's say that my goal was actually one book. It'll show you a little message if you met your goal. And so that is my book tracker for this year and I'm very excited to start using it. I know that it's going to keep me motivated to read more this year. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Notion. Bye everyone!